Ready to go outside? Yep. Do you have flute practice today or band? Band. Band. You cold? You need a hat? Nope. No? Okay. Good morning, Modern Status. We gotta go get Gina's snow tires put on her car this morning. I'm enjoying how peaceful the ride is because after we get the studded snow tires on, it's not gonna be the same. We'll have to listen. Talk over here. All right, we got the tires on. We get to see what it sounds like now. I always forget. I don't know if you can hear the difference of the tires now or not. We had what we call our summer tires taken off. Just normal car tires. And we had our studded Nokian winter tires put on. They're a softer rubber compound and they're studs. So in the colder weather, these will still spread. You'll get more traction and the studs give you even more. And the biggest thing isn't for going, it is for stopping. I mean, you need both, but I wanna know that Gina can stop on ice or slush. And that's what you get with snow tires you can hug the road a lot better when it's icy out. It makes a big difference. What are you doing, Pluto? When I was out doing chores this morning, it was still pretty dark out. I didn't want to let the goats out of the big run when it was that dark, so we'll let them out now. Burr, girls, burr. Ouch. Need to check and make sure the pigs still have plenty of water in their waterer. Oh yeah, about half full. Oh man, the fire went out. Only 34 degrees out right now. I want to keep that going today. There we go. My brother in law picked up some nice half inch thick rubber mats that I want to clean up and get inside the outdoor kitchen so when we're doing our butchering, we're not just standing on a hard concrete floor. I think that'll help our backs and help our knees. So I wanna get those cleaned up. They can dry outside for a couple of days. I need to get the kitchen cleaned out and get ready for this weekend's harvesting. And then we can figure out the layout for our mats. I don't think we need our canoe oar anymore. We have a nice paddle that we got last year from Cheryl. So I think we can put our canoe oar back in the basement. I'm not exactly sure what these are from. All I do know is they were saved from a landfill. I'm kind of thinking they were out of an old conveyor belt or something.
Oh, there was an icicle in there. Good thing we got hot water out here. First start with spray nine. This is supposed to kill viruses and be a degreaser. So let's try it. Dump some bleach on them now. Sun will dry them out pretty quickly. I guess we'll find out. I forgot to give the chicks some more food this morning. Yeah, you guys need some, don't you? Got a nice little hole over here. That's funny. I was looking out the pantry window the other day and I noticed where we put the straw, it looks like winter rye growing. So I'm wondering if this straw that we got was from making winter rye or some kind of rye. So that'll add some nice organic material in the garden beds. Got it here, where we planted garlic. There, here, and here. So that's kind of neat. We don't have anything where we got the leaves. And yep, we got some growing. This is our strawberries are under this box. And we got some rye of some sort growing over here too. I'm thinking the pigs would probably like a couple of pumpkins to eat right about now. You want some pumpkins? I know you do. Oh, 
Can I get it from here? There you go. I must say, it's also just fun. Yeah. I think they like the pumpkin. Is that some good grass? Now that there's not any browse left or leaves on the trees, the goats eat in the grass. All summer long they wouldn't touch the grass, they had to keep mowing it and weed whacking it. Now they're grazing. Firewood brought inside the outdoor kitchen. It's crazy to think this used to be right up against the wood line. If you guys haven't seen the videos when we got our property logged this past spring, I'll put a link to that playlist right there. I was I really enjoy those videos. We had about four to four and a half acres logged. So we're working on turning it back into a pasture. It hasn't gone as smoothly as I hope with all the rain we've gotten this year, but we are making some awesome progress. bit over there. That's all filled up and we've got some over here. Glad to see the mat dried up. Put them back over. Whoa. You notice that my right front tire is a little low. I better put some air in it while I'm thinking of it. I have this little portable air compressor you can keep in your vehicle and it plugs right into a cigarette lighter. Works pretty handy for the tractor. That way wherever we are I can just plug it in and put the air in. I don't gotta go find an air compressor. Luckily the Kubota has a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Well, I guess I gotta put some slime in on this side. The other tire I got slime in it and it hasn't leaked down. Bet the chickens will like this. There you go. I bet you'll like the seeds.
felt like I better bring a load of firewood in. It's been a cold day today. And I've been using up the pile we have inside pretty quick. I figured I'd restock it a little bit. I want to keep the wood that's been in the house longer on one side because this will burn better and put off more heat because it's warm and the stuff that I'm bringing in today I'll let it sit in here for hopefully like a week or at least a few days before we burn any of it. I thought you'd do better eating that squash. All right, we'll use it as your feed dish. There you go. An organic, natural food dish. Hey, you're not supposed to be standing in your food dish there, miss. You stuck. Oh, you're unstuck. Oh, quick, get your... No skunks. Any skunks? Nope, no skunks. Why do they always keep in their boxes? I don't know. Just lots and lots of eggs. Because they make locked out and locked in eggs. Moose. You're so noisy. They still have ice on top of their water. Man, we'll break it up some for him. Crazy weather. You got it? Maybe. There you go. Good job. All right, the same thing happened tonight that happened last week. We got home late. Now I gotta go lock up New York City. Last time we did this, there was skunks in there the next morning. I hope that don't happen again. Man. Hey, is there any skunks in there? I don't smell nothing. I think we're good. I don't see anything. I guess we'll find out tomorrow if we got any skunks in New York City. At least now I know, I'll open it cautiously in the morning.
But I'm gonna go milk Willow. This is where I'm gonna end tonight's video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.